three, one of proper and pervasive knowledge. He is omniscient. Proper makes it different from the non-Buddhist improper. Pervasive is different from the two vehicles, non-pervasive. Adherents of the two vehicles have certified to the nominant of extreme emptiness rather than pervasiveness, which is distinct from the two vehicles. Knowledge makes it different from ordinary individuals who have no knowledge. Proper and pervasive knowledge is uh, omniscience. There is a title to the one of proper and pervasive knowledge, which is the title of pervasively knowing the Dharma Rhea. What does this title mean? As the Suragama Sutra says, why the pine is straight, why the brambles is, are twisted, why the goose is white, why the crow is black, understand the reasons. The Buddha understands fundamentally why the way these things are the way they are. He even knows the number of raindrops, even just one beyond the 3,000 great thousand worlds. The Buddha received this title because he is omniscient, which is pervasively knowing the Dharma realm. One perfect in clarity and conduct. Clarity is also wisdom, while cultivation is blessings. Beings replete in both blessings and wisdom make the Buddha one perfect in clarity and conduct. There are three types of clarity embedded in this name. And what are they? Clarity there is clarity with the heavenly eye from acquiring the penetration of the heavenly eye. Clarity of past lives. One understands everything that occurred in life's past. And clarity in ending outflows. There is also a special title to one perfect in clarity and conduct, which is the title of the songs that show virtues at the causal level. At the level of consequences, the Buddha manifests the virtuous conduct he cultivated in the past. Well gone one, one who understands the world. Another title for this is wonderful proceeding towards the body. This title includes wonderful proceeding because he is good at going to all the Buddha lands throughout the ten directions. He uses provisional and clever expedients to teach and transform living beings. Unsurpassed Night is one of the Buddha's ten titles to because the Buddha has ended all delusions so that he has no more delusions of view, delusions of thought, delusions of dust most and others. If there are delusions left to sever still, then that would be a knight who still has something to surpass. Unsurpassed knight has an alternate title too, which is the title of connecting with the false and reaching the true. The Buddha knows that everything inside and outside his body are illusory and false. Only the Buddha vehicle is true and hence the title of connecting with the false and reaching the true. Taming and subduing hero, who metaphorically steers the carriage. In ancient times, carts are drawn by horses with someone whipping the horses and steering the cart. Driving a car nowadays is like steering a carriage. One evening, someone said to me, a driver is taming and subduing hero. What does this hero tame and subdue? He tames and subdues beings of the six realms so that they reach the Buddha's fruit of Bodhi. This is the greatest hero because he tames and subdues living beings so that they all become liberated from birth and death, transcending the six paths of transmigration. There is also another title to taming and subduing hero, and that is the title of gathering in and transforming so they comply with the way. He transforms living beings, saving all so that they cultivate according to this path. Teacher of gods and people, the Buddha is a role model for gods and people throughout the triple realm. He also goes by the title of speaking the drama according to potential. 
The nice name is Buddha. Buddha is half of Sanskrit word Buddhaya. Since the Chinese prefers things simple, the word became Buddha. The Buddha also goes by the title of perfect and clear in the three enlightenments. The three types of enlightenment are self-enlightenment, enlightenment of others, and perfection in enlightening conducts. When the three types of enlightenment are perfected, one is replaced with the mind red virtues. Hence, one becomes a Buddha. The last one is wound or not one. Whether in the world or beyond the world, the Buddha is respected. This name also goes by the title of being the only honored one in the triple realm. The triple realm consists of the desire realm, the form realm, and the formless realm. The Buddha is alone honored. When Shakyamuni Buddha was born, he pointed at the sky with one hand and pointed down at the earth with another hand, proclaiming, Above and below, I alone am honored. This is why the tenth name for the Buddha is the World Honored One and an alias by the title of being the only honored one in the triple realm. There are six meanings to the name World Honored One. One, self-mastery. The Buddha is most at ease. Two, blazes like fire. Three, proper and adorned. Four, universal known. Everyone knows the name Buddha. Auspicious. Five, auspiciousness. The name World Honored One means auspiciousness. Six, honored. The above explain nations are simple explanations of ten titles to the buddha this buddha appeared in the world that buddha's lifespan was sixty thousand ems sutra before he became a monk he was the king of a small country and was friendly with the king of a neighboring country both kings practiced the ten wholesome deeds and benefited beings because the citizens of those two neighboring countries did many bad things, the two kings made a plan using far-reaching experience. The king vowed to quickly become a Buddha and then rescue absolutely all the other beings. The other king vowed, I do not want to become a Buddha until I first rescue all those who are suffering for their offenses enabling them to fight peace and finally to reach Bodhi. The Buddha told the Bodhisattva Samadhi self-mastery king, the king who vowed to quickly become a Buddha is an all knowledge accomplished first come one. The king who vowed to keep saving beings who are suffering for their offenses rather than become a Buddha is an earth star Bodhisattva. Commentary before he became a monk, before all this knowledge accomplished first come one, first come one left the householder's life, he was the king of a small country and was friendly with the king of a neighboring country. He was friends with a neighboring country, with a neighboring king. Both kings practiced uh, ten wholesome deeds which are not killing, not stealing, not committing sexual misconduct, not being greedy, not being angry, not being deluded, not speaking harshly, not lying, not speaking fibrously, and not speaking divisively. They did these ten kinds of good deeds and benefited beings because all the citizens of those two neighboring countries did many bad things. The two kings held a discussion thought of some ways and made a plan using far-reaching experience to help their people. One king vowed to quickly become a Buddha. One of the kings made a vow that said, I hope I will become a Buddha soon. That will. What will he do once he becomes a Buddha soon? Once he becomes a Buddha, he will then do a good job of rescuing absolutely all the other beings who are creating evil. With that exception, all evil creating beings will be saved. The other king vowed, I do not want to become Buddha until I first rescue all those who are suffering for their offenses, enabling them to fight peace and finally to reach Bodhi. If I do not first save all beings who create evil and 
their offenses so that they live suffering and reach peace and happiness. And even to Buddhahood, I will never become a Buddha. I must save all beings before I become a Buddha. I will not become a Buddha if there is still one being who is not yet a Buddha. The Buddha told the Bodhisattva Samadhi Self Mastery King, the king who vowed to quickly become a Buddha is the third come one we just talked about. All knowledge accomplished the third come one. The king who vowed to keep saving beings who are suffering for their offenses rather than become a Buddha is Earth Star Bodhisattva. Who is the king who refuses to become a Buddha if there is any being not yet a Buddha? He is Earth Star Bodhisattva, and that is a vow he made in the past.